Hey traders, Lance here. I'm going to go over a hedge. That's right. I said the H word in an S&P 500 stock. But what you're going to love about this video, it offers you a little bit of risk for a maximum reward if we sell off. So personally, I'm looking at TXN. It's a semiconductor stock with China exposure. If we sell off, I think it's going to be China related. They've had buybacks. They lowered guidance. And to be honest with you, I just don't see any growth with the exposure to China. I think if the S&P 500 takes a hit, it takes a big hit on the chin. And the chart pattern from the gap down on earnings, not only do we have the gap lower, but I see a bear flag formation. So here's the flag pull, and then here's the flag. If we take out 115, which is support, I think we trade down to about 110, possibly all the way down to about 105. So I'm not looking you know, for a massive market decline. I'm just looking for a move lower, about seven bucks or so in TXM, which I think if the S&P falls, let's say three to 5%, we can get pretty easy. So let's go to the options market and see what we can get for a bear put spread. That's right, a bear put spread is gonna be our hedge. So let's go ahead and look. TXN, I'm looking at December, so that's 32 days. Uh, for expiration. Now those 115 puts, they're about 160 here. So I'm going to look to buy these 115 puts and TXN because that's where I think if it breaks support, it's going to fall. And then my target or where I think it can go is about 110 or below. So I'm actually going to look to sell here on the bid the 110 puts here in TXN. Now you can see for the trade, it's about about a dollar debit okay so i'm risking a hundred bucks per one contract now the spread is five dollars wide what that means is let's actually analyze this trade to see what this means is i'm risking one dollar or a hundred dollars per contract to potentially make if txn is below 110 at expiration in december 400 bucks so I'm risking 100 to make 400 bucks. That's a phenomenal risk versus reward as a hedge if TXN moves lower and S&P 500 stock here. Now my max, my max, 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 max loss. That's always something you want to look at on this trade. If TXN, let's say they announce a buyout and the stock trades 130 tomorrow, I can only lose 100 bucks. So my uh, maximum risk is capped. I can only lose that $100 per contract. Now, if TXN, let's say, doomsday happens and the CEO steps down and the whole market uh, tanks, my max reward, the most I can make, is that 400 bucks here on the trade. So I'm risking 100 bucks. My max, max loss, you always want to look at your max loss per one contract to potentially make $400, my max gain is capped so i know exactly where i stand in the trade at all times if txn is below 110 collect that 400 dollars that spread uh, five dollar wide spread minus the 100 dollars you pay that's 400 bucks i'm risking 100 to make 400 if txn falls below 110 by december expiration that's what we call a bear put and it is a debit spread. So I'm actually paying for this spread as a hedge here in the S&P 500 and the top in the stock TXN tech strip instruments. Lance here, let me know what you think about the trade or your favorite hedging techniques. I've heard some bear put flies out there. I've seen some ratioed spreads, some calendars out there, outright puts uh, for you option traders out there. I'm looking at a bear put debit spread.